Okay, this is Jack, and if we're going to do tutorial number four here, this one is going to center around Media Temple, Plesk, and another access point called Power Panel, as well as a way to get into the Power Panel through a purchased software download called WinSCP. I realize we've already gone through Media Temple, Plesk, and the Power Panel but I'm going to go over it again in much more detail so that in case you forgot anything. Okay, so when you log into your mediatemple.net, you're going to go into Plesk, or you can also go to Root Access. Um, I'm not sure who did these. Maybe my brother did them user domain who asked for this I wonder okay I operated root I'm going to show you how to do that anyway so let's go over the account center you can actually look up a lot of different things you can change your billing here if you need support there is a support center where you can uh, punch in questions, ask a bunch of questions, there's a community forum, open a support request, which you can also do down here, or a support pin. The support pin is generated, let me get rid of this damn thing, the support pin is generated if you need to make a phone call. So you would call them at their uh, phone number, which is right here, and with this support pin you would get into your account. All right, so let's go back to here and first go into the administrative panel and discuss root access developer tools I haven't talked to you about this before it's similar to Plesk but it's different um, we'll get into that in a minute your Plesk control panel which we've talked about a little bit is here if you want to change your Plesk password you do it here <clears throat> rebooting the server sometimes your functions can get minimized or you get error messages. If you hit this and reboot the server, it takes about two minutes. Generally, uh, kind of refreshes the site, makes it run better. It's almost like rebooting your computer. Okay. These are bandwidth reports, how many people have been on the site. Um, this is how much you purchased. This is how much is being used at this point. If you need to upgrade your server, um, this is your current plan, 150 a month. It tells you what you're getting. Looks like uh, 8 gigabytes of memory, 100 gigabytes of storage. Data transfer is 5,000 a month. You need to upgrade it, pay for it here. If you're spending too much money and you want to go down here, you can downgrade. Up to you. Um, I never worry about any of this stuff but let's get in here root access and developer tools I've enabled your root access your root password I made the same as your Plesk password okay let's get into Plesk for a second and then we're going to go into root if we go to the Plesk control panel automatically puts you to this basic web page the this is all just garbage that gets added to it later, but this is your basic page, and I've stuck this on the uh, tutorial number four, so you have instant access to it if you need it. You log in. I'm assuming the password is still the same. Um, install change log if you want to. This is for the blog I had. You don't really need that. Um, I've showed you most things. Let's see, this is your PHP version. That's all you really need for now. I do not know how to configure this stuff, but if you start messing around with it or if you hire a coder at any point, he's going to need to know all this stuff. It's been set to uh, fast CGI. I don't know why my mouse is vibrating like that, but it is. Applications. You can run a lot of different applications off of here, mostly WordPress. You can add more if you want to. 
your DNS settings. By the way, uh, the who is, what is all this stuff? This is your FTP, your Met, uh, I guess that's your, uh, your host address right there. Most important thing is FTP access. Okay. I guess it's Pitbull Bible is your FTP, whatever the password is. I don't remember. Um, but I, uh, I think it might be your password. I'm not sure. Okay. This is all pretty much garbage, but email addresses is important. You had had questions about payments and the very fact that some of the payments are linked back to my thing, administrator at the pitbullbible.com. That is actually now your address. If you want to go into your uh, Microsoft Outlook and you want to start using administrator at the pitbullbible.com, you can activate this and have all of these things go to you. In fact, you could change this whole thing, your PayPal, everything. You could change it to be administrator at the pitbullbible.com. Honestly, I think it's a lot more professional than comcast.net. That makes you look like you're just a guy with an email. But if you're administrator at the pitbullbible.com, I think it's a little more professional. But don't go and change it uh, just yet because um, I don't want to have to unmess up everything if something goes wrong but it was just an idea but it's your actually this is actually your email now if you wanted to add let's say I wanted to go in here you could also have uh, you change your password right there email aliases you could have uh, I don't know questions at the pitbullbible.com you can click OK and then you will see that this is your main email address, but if somebody sends something to questions at the pitbullbible.com, it will still go to your main address. You know, uh, webmaster, uh, payments, whatever you wanted to do, you could change it to be like that, okay? Um, the files I've told you before, but it bears repeating. When you click on files, HTTP docs is the only thing I've ever gone into. It's the only thing that matters. These look like all your core files, but for whatever reason, we kind of messed up and we installed everything through the forum directory. Okay, so this is where you're going to be looking for all of the code that my brother did. It will always start with breeding, breeder, bulldog, bulldog this, bulldog that. These are where all these files are. Okay, if you are going to reinstall um, like vBulletin 4.23, you would reinstall it into HTTP docs. You'd want to do this exact thing. You'd want to install it into HTTP docs, and then you would want to install it again into forum directory you install all this crap again into the form directory because we messed up the original installation back before you had it this is just how we did it it doesn't affect anything it's just another step to get to everything okay you can invent any new directory you want here new directory you can create a file or you can create a directory like for example I included the champion hammer directory into which I placed certain photographs that I used in my blog article regarding Champion Hammer. Okay, if you decide ever to write an article um, and you wanted to create, you know, on Zebo or whatever, you can create in as many directories as you want uh, and then put files in them. It doesn't affect the way your system runs. I'm going to go over the database a little bit. I know we've gone over it. I'm just going to say it so you have it on recording in case you, um, you know, have any problems. One of the things I suggest you get in the habit of doing is using your backup manager. I would suggest doing it at least once a month. Once a week would be ideal, but once a month, absolutely, because suppose some clusterfuck happens and 
your database crashes. It's no longer accessible. If you back it up with the backup manager, you have a copy of it somewhere on your hard drive and you can reinstall it again. Okay, very important thing to get in the habit of doing. Database servers. Again, this is the database servers that are here. Wait, wait, no, sorry about that. I gotta go back up into here, databases. This is the forum. Uh, this, I've never gone in here. You know how to get in here. You just click in here, and these are all of the data tables having to do with whatever, vBulletin, album update, announcement, all of this stuff here. Just a ton of stuff. I never fiddle with it, so you don't need to worry about it. This, however, I do fiddle with sometimes, and that's if somebody wants a picture removed, if somebody wants a breeding removed. Again, to reiterate, these are all of the corresponding data tables. This in reference to breeding. Um, there are 67 pages of 25 rows. You can increase the rows to 100. Now you've got 100 rows. These are all the breedings that have been added. You can search for any particular breeding by going into the breeding number, let's say I want to look at this breeding, 7587, I would cut that, okay, I would go into the data table, I would search, pop in the breeding number I'm looking for, hit go, and now I've got this breeding here, if I need to edit it, I go and edit, and that's the breeding number. This is the user it's assigned to. If you want to change the user, you could do it here. If you want to change the breeder, you could do it here. All of these pieces of information are available here. Okay. On the users. Um, you know, if you go in here, you can find whatever breeder you want. If you wanted to change it to Carver, you know. You can see some idiot put Maurice Carver's ghost in here. A bunch of times but if you wanted to change it to Maurice Carver you would see that he is breeder number 13 you would do this you would plop it breeder number 13 in here and now Maurice Carver bred this dog you hit save or save here whichever you want to do obviously I'm not going to do that I'm going to get out of here okay so this is all off of the Plesk control panel okay this is Plesk a completely different control panel is the power panel. Okay, and I have, where did I put this? Tutorial number four. This is the tutorial I'm making on this thing. I've put the power panel address here. You notice it's almost the same as Plesk, except Plesk is 8443, power panel 4643. Your uh, username for Plesk is admin. Your username for the power panel is going to be root. Plesk is a more user-friendly situation. The power panel is similar. What did I just do? The power panel, what is this? This is, it keeps going in here. Maybe I got to log out. This isn't working right. Yeah, there we go. The power panel. I put in your same password. The power panel is a more, it's a less user friendly, more computer geek oriented uh, set of tools. I don't know what most of this stuff does. I've never used it. And if you, I mean, you can configure firewall preferences, all kinds of crap here. My brother goes into this stuff a lot. I don't. If you need to go in here, you would go into manage files. Don't ask me why it's situated this way, but it just is. The next thing you would click is ver. The next thing you would click is www. 
the next thing you click is V hosts. Then you're going to find your thing there. I don't know why my mouse is shaking like that. Maybe I need to restart my computer. Then you go into HTTP docs. The reason why I'm telling you about this is one, you need to know about it. But this is accessing your files similar to Plask, and you may say, well, why the hell do we need to do that? Because some of the files cannot be accessed through Plask. Let's go to Forum. If you look, PSALCN is the user permission. That's the group assigned to this. These are the permissions. Anything you can do in Plesk, you can do in Root, but it's not the reverse. There are some things you can do in Root that you cannot do in Plesk. For example, some of these are assigned to Root. A lot of what my brother has done, he has done through the Root directory. So if you try to adjust a file through Plesk, you can't do it. You're going to have to go to Root and click here to make any edits. Okay? Not that you'd want to do it, but if you ever get a coder and you want to redo some of this gobbledygook, you would have to go through the root power panel. Okay. Permissions, if you remember, um, let's see, there were problems with the pictures. I'll show you what the problems were, the dogs and the breeds. These are housing all of the photographs for breedings and all of the photographs for dogs. You can see this uh, through Plesk, but you have to edit a lot of this through the root panel, the root directory. These are the permissions we change. You can click on this and change them. You know, when we clicked on them, let's see. Actions, what is this? These are the dog pictures. There's a lot of pictures in here. That's what's taking it so long. You can see these are the pictures associated with the dogs. Tons and tons and tons of them. Okay. Page one of 50. Just pictures and pictures. Every time somebody enters a picture, it keeps adding to your database. That's why as over time you have 200,000 dogs in here, it's going to cost you a lot more money to run this thing. But it's really not that bad. Breeding, same thing. The permissions. We had to change it to this user and the group is root. That's the permission, the way we had to switch it. Let's see. I forget how the hell I did this. What is this? This is, um, yeah, that's editing the permissions. This is how we edit the permission. User, Pitbull, Bible, Group, Root. We had to put, look at all these users we had to sort through, okay? And the same thing, we had to, we, we chose these, and this is how we had to configure the folders so that these photographs, when there was a problem, it wasn't configured this way. The username is different on the original Pitbull Bible site. So you changing the name to this or whatever, I don't even remember how it happened is what, you know, confounded it, but we figured a way out of it. Anyway, the power panel is a vital element for coders to use. They are going to want to use the power panel, okay? So this video that I'm making will eventually be right here. So you can read it when you want, but this is how you access Plesk, 8443, Power Panel, 4643, blah, blah. So um, another way to access the Power Panel is WinSCP. Okay, I have a program called WinSCP. Um, that I use to get into the root panel. So your host name is going to be .com. Username is root. And the password is your Plesk password, which I put in here. So you log in, okay? Uh, yes, and then you can get in 
to the root directory like this. These are all of my files. So let's say, let's concentrate on this. You would want to go up. You would want to, what do we do? Again, go to ver, go to www, vhosts, the Pitbull Bible, HTTP docs. Suppose you wanted to pop in, um, let's say uh, you know you wanted to up, upload the bulletin you would basically if that was the file you would just go like this you would right click upload okay and then you would upload your whole V bulletin thing in there and then you would again do it in forums Cl right click upload don't do that for a while because I still want to show you some things on the site and I don't want you to shut it down because it, it it can cause problems. I may do a whole tutorial on that and show you how to do it. But this WinSCP, the, the function of root, the power panel, is for coder type things. The function of Plesk are basic file uploads. You want to upload pictures, you want to do this, you want to do that. The root, you can do some computer coding in it. And when SCP gives you a different access to root than the power panel, and it also is a free FTP client, so it, it uploads much, much faster. If you try to go in to uh, root, okay, and do your uploads it's a little slower it's more for one file uploads two or three file uploads if you're going to be reconfiguring your whole database you're going to want to use WinSCP and I'll provide a link to that for you in the tutorial okay so let's go back to Plesk we click here bam we come into Plesk and let's look at what did I want to look at? Tools and settings. This is basically a lot of different things you can add. You'll notice you ever, if you go to a bank or you go to PayPal, you'll see HTTPS, as in right here. These are security certificates. If you ever get a web coder and you want to make some private areas or whatnot, uh, you could generate SSL certificates here, web application firewall. This is kind of similar to some of the things Plus can do, but it's in a much more user-friendly uh, presentation, yet it is not quite as powerful, ultimately. Firewalls, let's see, what else? Summary reports you can check out, you know. Let me see, is this the right one? Nah. traffic usage by domain, server statistics setting. Um, you can install antivirus in your mail, spam filters. You can do a lot of different things here. Obviously, we don't have time to do every single thing. Application vault. This is just showing you the number of installed applications. You can get a lot of things in here. Pinterest, uh, Google+. Plus. You can install many different applications through here. Um, Let's see what else updates and upgrades. I I typically hate upgrading uh, because there's always a chance something won't work. That's a, that's why I'm saying don't upgrade the site till I'm done with it because uh, then you'll you know it, it it just might slow some things down. Um, that's pretty much it as far as Plus goes. Uh, you know, you can kind of hunt around here and look around your statistics. It's showing your web usage is mostly by web. Just a little bit of email is coming in and out of this site. The databases are using this much. Um, logging errors, logging this, logging that. Um, so far, your traffic is... Looks like... 27,000 megabytes a month and you have an unlimited policy um, and what, what else did I show you there was something else here file sharing extensions maybe it's in tools and settings I'm sorry to uh, 
there's a site migration backup man there we go tools and resources this will tell you your IP address mass email messages we, you can already do that through admin CP but migration and transfer manager if you ever want to transfer it you would use that through this it's a pain in the butt which is why we paid to do it so anyway um, that's pretty much it to to go back to the basic site here you have Plesk which is a user-friendly way to go into the back door and look at your site and manage it there of course is media temple but you're not going to use that one too much but the power panel is a pretty vital situation now that we're doing this again the uh, I don't know why yeah there we go maybe I'll have to add this stuff to the end of it but the power panel is is as the name implies more powerful resource and access into these sites I've showed you the you got to go through like ver www you have to get into it the right way and you'd never figure it out by yourself and then if you want to download win SCP which is this program here to power download a lot of different files at once you just put you know www.thepitbullbible.com root with the root password login and you can go through it like that so um, that will conclude this video tutorial and you're welcome to follow up with any questions I'm gonna to have to convert it now configure it and upload it and I'll send it to you in just a minute